It's Shortland Street. It's Tony. I'd recognise that smile anywhere. Do you really want your son back? Time is now. Don't touch the guy with a ten-foot pole. He's a con artist and the police are after him. What does that mean exactly? Clear and I saw each other for, I don't know, about a month. How long ago was this? Uh, a year or so. It's off and on. Nothing serious. But you were with Tiny at the time, though. Did she know about Claire? Yes, she did. Look, this is all ancient history. Except that you never told us about Claire. I was never asked. A friendly warning, Mark. By not telling me things... You're not doing yourself any favours. I go back to my point. I have nothing to tell. I didn't do it. You're wasting your time. Do you like women? What kind of a question is that? It's pretty straightforward. Of course I like women. I'm married to one. But you're unfaithful. On the night your wife announces she's pregnant, you have sex in the toilets with someone you have. I did not plan that. I have told you Meg was all over me. But you could have said no. Why didn't you? Did the same thing happen with Claire? Was she all over you too and you just couldn't say no? Do you think some women are stroppy slags, Mark? They need putting in their place? Yes or no? I need a drink of water, please. That detective's a no-nonsense sort of a woman, isn't she? Although I'm not so sure about those shoes. I mean, they're very nice, but it's not like she can up and run after a criminal with those pumps, does it? No. Sorry. Just trying to make the time pass a bit faster. Oh, he's been in there for ages. Well, they're just trying to be thorough. Well, he hasn't done anything wrong. Why do they keep hassling him? I don't know. They must have their reasons. Should never have lied for him in the first place. It was just a white lie. This is the cops, Mum. A lie is a lie. Now you listen to me. These people know what they're doing. It won't take them long to figure out that Mark is innocent and that he's got nothing to hide. I suppose you're right. The last thing I want is you stressing out my grandchild in there, OK? I bought every word he said. Oh, you wanted your son back. When someone tells you it's all possible, are you going to say no? You're not the first, Chris, and you won't be the last. I still don't know where Harry is. I have no idea where my son is. Can I make a suggestion? Take it to the police. They're not going to get anywhere with Cheney unless they have the evidence to back them up. Tell them I was about to break the law myself? Fair enough. But the point is, people won't speak out. If Cheney knows that, it's how he stays in business. phone is disconnected. I wouldn't even try to get in touch with him. It's not going to get you anywhere. Tell me about Maya Jeffries. She's a good friend, that's all. He's having your child? Maya has nothing to do with us. Do you have a sexual relationship with her? She's gay. Gay people have been known to switch teams. Maya and I have never had sex. She wanted a child, she asked me to be her donor. Behind your wife's back? No, not initially. That's how it's ended up, hasn't it? Why even take the risk? Why would you put your marriage on the line to help out your sister-in-law? She could have found a donor elsewhere, other women do. Are you attracted to Maya, is that why? Did she press you into it? What? A bit of both. You'll tell Tanya, won't you? You're going to tell her? How often do you cheat on Tanya? I don't cheat on her. You had sex with Meg. That's not cheating? It meant nothing. She was drunk, I was drunk. It was just one stupid mistake. So you're saying it doesn't count? I'm saying I love my wife. I'm saying I regret what I did that night. Did you worry that Meg would go to Tanya and tell her? Oh, Meg probably wouldn't have even remembered that it happened. Well, you were worried about something. You shot off to see Maya. I was freaking out, OK? Tanya had just told the whole world she was pregnant and I didn't even know she was. I, I couldn't think straight. All I knew was that I needed to leave the apartment. I just had to get out. I had to think. How many other women, Mark? How many other episodes that didn't mean anything? 
I'm sorry I ran out on lunch. A friend in a spot of bother, I couldn't say no. That's okay, I understand. I should really get back to work. Me too. How about a movie tonight? That would be nice. <laughs> Which movie? You choose. Chris has cancelled his trip. Yeah. Good move. Did you have a hand in it? A bit of a hand. How the hell did you manage that? I let his ties down. He's not too happy. Keep an eye on him, eh? Warner. I, um, I need an address and confidence. I'd like you to wait until after I've talked to Tanya, if you don't mind, Mark. Is it all right if I go for a walk? Sure. Come in. You may as well go back to work. There's no point in waiting. I'll wait. I hope you realise that my daughter has done nothing wrong, and this is costing her time off work. I realise that, Mrs. Jeffries. Sorry about the wait. It's okay. Sorry I went off before. These things happen. I'm sure you and your colleagues at work want this sorted as quickly as we do. Everyone is terrified it will happen again. I really just want to confirm a few details with you. How well would you say Mark knew Meg Harris? He didn't, really. Just through work. Okay. And you knew about the brief affair with Claire? That was ages ago. How are things between you now? We're good. We're having our first baby. Do you think Mark ever tells lies to you? No, definitely not. Not anymore. Not anymore. We had a few issues when we first got together. Like the affair with Claire. Is that what you mean by issues? Oh, yes, that was part of it. What were these issues? You feel like I'm asking you to betray Mark's confidence. I think he's been hammered enough and that was a long time ago. He's a different person now. If there's more to Mark than he's been prepared to tell us, then I need to know. You do want to help him. Of course I do. Then talk to me. Or I'll be left with no other option but to find someone else who will.